This is another piece of uh, rubbing I made uh, from the glass. Um, and now I put the glass above the rubbing to apply some uh, green colors on the picture. This is mineral green, it's kind of opaque. I don't want to use on the front so it would cover the ink. I use it on the back that to see where I will get the color I use this glass so I can see through the picture before I apply the color. Okay. Now I take the picture and put right this way. So it's very uh, absorbent. It's not like a watercolor paper, you cannot do this, right? So we can paint on both sides of the picture. You can see the color, just a hint of the green, but not uh, covering anything. This nice texture. Isn't that nice? Now I go back to traditional way to kind of uh, refine it. I would use um, a liner to draw some outlines on the rock if I need. But I try not to do too much so to um, destroy the natural look. So just a little highlight on the foreground maybe. This kind of landscape is like uh, you see from an airplane in the sky. So you uh, don't see much detail, just the, the formation of the landscape and uh, some vegetation, just dots of uh, um, trees and bushes, maybe you don't see the <coughs> detail. Like a Google map, if you will. So just some acid. And I uh, looked at it and feel there um, more definition needed. So I come back with a huge brush. This is the brush I use and added some ink um, to define the structure of the mountains. Now it's uh, like a valley. So as you can see, the process of landscape painting um, takes a long time just to look and think. It um, takes days sometimes. Um, you just have to uh, hang it up and uh, look at it. When you don't have an idea, uh, stop and um, uh, think 
uh, why you wait uh, your idea come up and um, so it's very fun to do landscape you never know what's going to end up with